Hi, this is Lucas from Adreno Sydney store and today I'm going to be talking to you about fins. So we have a range of different fins here to cover all the different in-water activities that we do in our lovely oceans from uh, snorkeling, scuba diving, through spearfishing and freediving. So why do we have such a selection you might ask? Well, fins are designed to do different things and are also designed for different people and their body types. So, if I start up this end, we've got our pretty fins, pink. Some people like that kind of thing. Easy for uh, chucking on, going for a quick snorkel around, looking at the blue groper off here, the corals up on the barrier reef, following the turtles around, those kinds of things. They come with a nice enclosed heel, very comfortable, easy to wear, great for those summer holidays. Moving on, we have our scuba diving fin. Now, how the scuba diving fin differs from the snorkeling fin is just a little bit in its precision and efficiency. With our scuba fins, we cover a range of brands. We also cover a range of qualities. So we go from the low end, our hard plastics, all the way through to our really nice rubbers. So you can expect that the performance of the fin will reflect the price that you pay. In these ones, we've got a beautiful rubber, very nice uh, soft foot pockets, comfortable. Also, the split fin allows you to have precision finning. So if you're into that kind of cave diving or maneuvering around reef, being very careful of where you are and the way you position yourself, something with the, the precision of a split fin is going to be beneficial. If, however, you're not into the scuba diving, you're more into the free diving, we've got our free diving fins here. So typically, free divers use a longer blade. These fins are designed to have a greater efficiency uh, in your kicking sort of technique. So the flex and the length of the blade allows you to put a, a small amount of effort into the fin for a longer duration kick. So they're great for swimming in currents. So if you're still a scuba diver who likes to swim in currents, uh, those fins are going to be great. They're also a fantastic intermediate freediving fin. So the concept of freediving, holding your breath and swimming down deep underwater, uh, revolves around an efficiency of movement. The lower you can keep your heart rate, the more efficient your movements can be, the longer that you can stay down underwater and the deeper that you can dive. And these fins are designed specifically for that. One of the most common questions I get asked when talking about fins with customers is what is a good fin for me? I'm an entry level freediver, where's the difference? So to explain the differences, we look at these fins again. Here we've got one that's completely molded so that the blade is actually attached to the foot pocket. Uh, the rubber is a little bit different. You get different qualities of rubber which can cut, cut down or extend the price. Essentially what you're looking for as an entry level freediver is something that allows you to get into the ocean, practice the skills, uh, remain durable so if you hit them on the rocks and, and, and whatnot it's not going to break and you're going to have fun using them. We move on up a little bit, still a, a, a durable fin, a plastic blade, uh, not too expensive, but this one has an advantage of being able to remove that blade and replace it with something more high-end as you progress through the sport. Obviously, each brand has a higher and a lower range with different quality rubbers to suit your foot or your needs. People often ask me what's the difference between a medium stiffness blade and a soft stiffness blade. Soft and medium will affect the way that you swim and they're also geared towards your expectations of the activity that you're doing. If you're the kind of person who likes to move around a lot underwater, needs to dive deep and then return quickly, then something that's gonna, that has immediate response is probably good for you. You get more out of the kick in a hard blade and so it's great for pushing mass through water. If, however, you like to take your time, you've got quite a good breath hold and you want to move much more slowly through the water, then something softer might be more fitted for your needs. So it basically works like this. If you can keep your heart rate low by maintaining a slow kick and still achieve the distance that you want to swim, then your metabolism doesn't increase as much. So having a softer blade will help keep your heart rate low. Another advantage of the soft blades over the harder blades is that the majority of our ocean creatures communicate or feel vibration and pressure. So the harder you kick, the sharper the vibration or pressure waves 
uh, that pass through the water. Now this can scare fish. It can also bring in curious predatory fish, but a lot of the spear fishermen that I know try to avoid those harsh and, uh, and high pressure waves. Having a soft fin, which glides through the water much easier, gives a less threatening or lower vibration and therefore is better for sneaking up or creating minimal disturbance. So if you, you feel like diving with a soft blade, if you're comfortable getting to where you need to over a long duration, then the softer blade might be for you. If, however, you need to dive deep, return quickly, and want response out of your fin, you might consider a, a thicker blade. With a lot of our fins, the blades are interchangeable. So if you start off with one of the entry level fins, like the Sporosub or the Maras, then as you progress from the plastic blade to something a little bit different, you can remove them and put in a carbon fiber or a fiberglass fin. So again, this is Lucas at our Sydney Adreno store. Thank you for having a look through our fins. And if you have any more questions, leave it in the comments section below. Come into the store and see us in either Brisbane or Sydney. Thanks for watching this episode of Adreno's How To Videos. If you'd like to view more videos, just click here. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by simply clicking on the subscribe button here. To purchase these products, stop in at one of our store locations in Brisbane or Sydney, or visit us online at spearfishing.com.au.